winding down our coverage here at the BMO Metals and Mining Conference. And joining me now is Sean Rusen. He's the chief over at Ozisco. Sean, good to be with you. Well, it's an interesting session for us. Yeah, absolutely. So you know what I'm going to ask you about. But first, before we get to that topic, let's look at Ozisco as a company. Let's talk about your jewel, Malartic, and what you have in store for 2014. Sure. As you know, we started Canadian Malartic uh, in 2005 as an exploration discovery. Uh, we've had the good fortune and privilege to take it through to a, a producing mine. We produced 475,000 ounces last year at cash costs of around 670 U.S. Uh, so coming on as one of the biggest and uh, low, lowest cost mines in the sector. Certainly the newest mine to join the, the, the top quartile. And uh, as we've seen, our friends from Gold Corp have identified it as the best single asset company in the space. So by issuing a hostile bid, obviously, uh, that's a, that is a topic we'll discuss. But our plans uh, going forward in 2014 is continue the uh, the evolution and optimization at Canadian Arctic. We finished the ramp up last year going to 55,000 tons a day. Uh, the mine is performing exceptionally well. We had 50,000 ounces of production in January alone, the coldest month since 1984. Um, so we're very happy with the, with the way the operations have gone and our operating team has really outdone themselves uh, in terms of getting Canadian Arctic fired up and to, to, to go and it was a, quite a complex project. Uh, we built this mine in 18 and a half months which was six months ahead of schedule and we also built it for under a billion dollars so we were last big company, uh, last big mine to be built. Uh, under under time and on budget. Right, and such a coup for the province of Quebec. How much employment did it create? We have uh, over 800 employees in Quebec, and so far we've contributed about 2.1 billion dollars uh, to the Quebec economy. And we're about the 17th largest company in Quebec, including all the banks, and we top 10 after without the banks. So the problem, Sean, is when you have a jewel, other people want a piece of it. Well, we appreciate the compliment that Gold Corp has paid us by identifying Canadian Malartic as the uh, as the crown jewel in the gold space at this point in time. However, uh, we are in strong disagreement with the price that's been offered, and we've told our shareholders to please reject the offer and to preserve the value that they created by investing with us. What do you think about his uh, recent comments, Chuck Genesis' recent comments, that Ozisco's behavior towards the bid was, quote-unquote, bizarre? Well, you know, we'll see in court. We're uh, we're going to court between March 3rd and 5th. It's our contention that they were in no position to make a, a hostile bid. Uh, we believe that they were on a standstill. Uh, we were led to believe that we had a friendly relationship with Gold Corp. So we're uh, we're very shocked and disappointed with the outcome and the and the uh, and the approach that Gold Corp has taken, taking a very aggressive and I would say questionable approach towards managing the information that came out of this process and we hope that the court case will go a long way in clarifying to people uh, that this is no he said she said this is a documented situation and there's contractual obligations that have been breached here and uh, it's our job as, as management uh, to protect our shareholders uh, from this kind of an opportunistic bid uh, and certainly at this premiums uh, it's not, not respectful to the value that's been created here. I know Chuck has also said that Quebec officials would be supportive of the bid. Is that the same story you're hearing? Well obviously uh, Minister Marceau came out uh, with legislation uh, saying that they're going to strengthen the board's ability to deal with hostile bids in Quebec and that the Quebec government is committed to doing everything they can to preserve, preserve head offices uh, in Quebec and we are the largest mining house in Quebec with the largest mine in Quebec so obviously we're uh, we're primary to the discussion in the resource ability, uh, resource development sector uh, in Quebec, and obviously, uh, there's no other mining house that has a mine in Quebec that's anywhere near our size. We're a three billion dollar company, uh, and our head office in Montreal uh, is a decision center uh, that can be the platform for the evolution of the Quebec mining industry. And I think that's very important in the current government's plans. Have you had a chance to speak with Chuck here at the conference? Uh, no, I haven't had the pleasure. I consider him to be my personal trainer. Uh, ever since they announced the hostile takeover, I've been running around losing weight, and I'll give him compliments for helping but me. But if you were in a room pounds. with him, was there something you would tell him? Uh, I'd say that he had a contractual obligation. He should honor it, and that if he's going to do a, a hostile bid, he should respect the value of the shareholders that have been uh, that did it, and that they should pay a proper price and to uh, to recognize the value that's been created. And uh, if uh, just say no, uh, we're an option here obviously. We feel that the uh, the value at Canadian Malartic is in the evolution of the mine. We just finished the ramp up. Uh, we'll see what the value is over the next uh, four, to eight, four to eight quarters as we continue to uh, see the performance of this uh, premier asset. Sean, how do you focus uh, without this being on your mind every day? How do you run a company with it's basically a thorn in your side right now? Uh, well, we've, uh, we've always faced adversity and we faced this crowd three times before. Uh, we've always dominated, and uh, we've, we've been playing in the NHL for a long time, so we know how to skate our shift. Well, good luck, Sean. 
All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for speaking with me today. I appreciate it. And thanks for watching our coverage from the BMO Metals and Mining Conference. You can email us any comments or questions at newsfeedback.kitco.com. Thanks for watching. Thank Keep you, your Cisco stock.